Hi, my name is Jesse at Trash Panda, and in this video, I want to show you how I make disc golf minis out of my garage. And since I'm in the middle of fulfilling a thousand orders, well, Jake, Austin, Peyton, Daniel, Shay, and Michael, this one's for you. To injection mold minis, or even discs for that matter, you basically just need three tools. And this is a DIY injection machine I built based off of open source drawings from Precious Plastic. It may look complex, but I had no experience when I started and I was able to learn everything. So if I can do it, so can you. Plus I made a playlist about the entire journey and all the things I learned along the way, so that should help too. This is my mold. I worked with my buddy Chris who's a machinist to design it and then he made it. So needless to say, he's the man. At this point we've made four of them to help speed up the process. I'll show you that in a sec. Oh, and the oven for preheating, it's optional, but definitely preferred. Now I totally understand that the first two tools aren't necessarily accessible to everyone. And because of this, one of my long-term plans with Trash Panda is to be able to sell kits to make your own minis or discs. Basically, they just come with a machine, a mold, and the third thing you need to get started. The third thing you'll need is plastic. Shredded and recycled plastic is called Regrind, and I built my own shredder so I can make my own. But you can also buy Regrind from industrial recyclers. I personally do a mix of both, but the latter is much more scalable. A bunch of people have asked about the color, and the color of minis is determined by the color of the plastic. So unfortunately, this means that I can only make minis out of the colors I can source. But the good news is that colors vary, so every single mini is unique, and we're still keeping plastic out of landfills. Every single plastic type has a different melting temperature, which means the recycling process for each can vary, which is also why most plastic products have that little recycling number somewhere on them. If you mix plastics, you can actually negatively affect the recycling process and future recyclability. So I like to keep all of my plastics separate and currently have my machine optimized for HDPE. Since I initially built the machine to make a disc, it can actually make six to seven minis at a time. And because I have multiple molds, I can inject one after another. Let's do it. Once I've injected one, I hold it in place for about 15 to 30 seconds and then it's on to the next mold. Now it should just be rinse and repeat, but since I only have four molds, I have to get the mini out of this mold before I'm finished with the fourth one. It's a little tricky. One of the cool things about drilling out the injection point is I can just throw all of this plastic back into my shredder. And there you go, that was six minis in just under 30 minutes. Now all that's left to do is finish and ship them. There are three simple steps for finishing. First, cut off the injection point. Second, number the mini according to the number it was made in. And third, stamp the plastic type. Now it might not seem like much, but this is probably the most important step because it identifies what type of plastic it is. The trash panda shipping department uses 100% recycled mailers, adds a sticker, and writes a handwritten letter with every order. Every single order is a person who is committed to grow the sport sustainably, and that means the world to me. I'm always working to optimize the steps in the process, so if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. Except for the hydraulics. I'm working on that. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support the channel, and we'll see you next time. Jacob, Austin, Peyton, Shay, Michael, and Daniel, I truly hope you love your recycled minis.